right, welcome back to the channel, guys. So uh, today, Altel Robotics decided to uh, release their new update uh, for their iOS app, um, the Sky app, and also a new firmware upgrade uh, release, which is version 1.3.26. And it adds a couple of uh, new features to it for the camera, uh, the flight control and the gimbal supposedly they've optimized the gimbal whatever that means um, but most importantly they say that they have um, also uh, optimized uh, the wind resistance on the drone so that's interesting so I'm gonna go uh, set it up real quick and show you guys the uh, UI uh, the interface of the app and show you what they've done to it and what they've added. Prior to the last uh, firmware upgrade, the battery, every time you had to upgrade the firmware on the battery, it did the whole entire firmware per battery. So on the last recent, most recent uh, firmware upgrade, they've eliminated that and made it easy to just upgrade the battery itself. And uh, it just saves you half an hour it takes so long to upgrade the firmware on this thing so anyway just wanted to share that with you guys to let you know all right so let's go through the through the app interface here and show you guys what exactly they've done here so first of all on the top you can see there is the uh, RC signal and they've added a new satellite icon to show you how many satellites you're connected to currently right now I have 17 uh, which is a lot usually here I only get around I don't know 12 so that's that's pretty good so on the bottom here you can see all of your camera parameter settings like your white balance uh, your shutter speed uh, your ISO and your exposure value and if you notice here next to it it has what says pro now if I click on that it'll go back to auto so now you can easy, easily switch from automatic to manual let's go into the settings I want to show you guys what they've added here in the settings so here if you notice they added a new signal lost feature so when the aircraft is, is uh, disconnected the distance or if the distance exceeds 30 meters the aircraft will rise up to the return to home altitude and it will return so you have three options here you can return to home when the signal is lost or you could let it hover in the air or you can let it descend um, so you have that option there um, that's it for that and the control they've added what did they add I think they added here on the remote control customizable functions um, they've added a photo switch photo video switch which they didn't have before so that's a simple addition what else do they have here that's the same camera I think they've added something new here I believe or not okay here's what they've added here new they've added a new image transition resolution and they have a 30 frames per second and a 60 frames per second option now I can't click on it I guess you have to be airborne in order to activate that but um, yeah that's something new that they've added and I believe that's pretty much it and the uh, settings uh, as for this here everything seems the same the hyperlapse the portrait uh, mode the quick shoots and all that stuff now you can change your camera settings while you're on the ground before you had to be airborne in order to change them but now you can change them while you're on the ground which is cool especially if you're using ND filters you just you know look around change your parameters on the camera and uh, yeah you're ready to go so for instance right now I see that I'm a little bit light here oh I didn't even mention that so Look at that. So now you can actually click on each uh, little icon of your camera settings. So if I want to change the white balance, I just click on white balance. If I want to go into my ISO, I just click on the ISO. So that's pretty neat. I didn't, I didn't uh, notice that until now. So that's cool. So I'm just going to go and change the ISO, I mean the speed. And I'm going to add it to 120. 
and I think I like that color. Let me see if I go a little bit more. 60, 200. I don't know. I like 200. I like 200. I'll leave it at 200. Some people, you know, say 160 shutter speed if you're filming in 30 frames per second. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's how others do it. I'm just going to do it my way. Nothing too complicated. I'll try to do a flight test on another day. Um, but I just wanted to share this new update with you guys. Alright, anyway, thanks so much for watching, those of you who are tuned in. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll check you guys out on the next one.